Hello again, good people. This is Big Baby J with another episode of Breath of Fire 3. Last episode, as you know, we made it to Karazhan. And, uh, well, we made it up to this point right here. We, uh, opened Station Maria. I guess that's another name you can call it. We opened the front doors where we had to go through the workers area in order to get to the point where we are here. But now since we're here, uh, did a lot of off-screen grinding. All right, look at my stats. I reached 71, 66, and 61 respectfully. Uh, my agility is off the charts. Ray is about to catch up with uh, Big Baby. Well, that's to be expected seeing how Ray is the fastest character in the game. Um, quick note Pico he has a dragon fang now I called it the uh, dragon tooth if I'm not mistaken in the last episode so but actually this is his most powerful weapon the dragon fang so I managed to get that that's what took so long I had to do some leveling and well actually I wasn't doing any leveling I was trying to get this weapon and it took like forever to get it so if you play uh final fantasy 4 then you know the four percent drop rate this probably is one percent all right because you got to look at you got a one and uh what is it 200 and something with the charm effect you get 128 so yeah very very low drop chance percentage so, also, managed to get my hands uh, on one of these, Gideon Garb. That is Gar's, supposedly Gar's best armor. Only Gar, uh, only Gar can equip it. It has a defense of 82, uh, weight of 12. Plus, it raises his power. But, as you see here... Life armor only has 80 and weight is 12, uh, excuse not 12, but 8 and regenerates HP as you walk. To me, life armor is better than Gideon's garb, but there's also a better uh, armor later on that we can get. So, yeah, well, let's get in here now, shall we? Time to take care of a little business. All right. This area here is where I did my farming. Well, not quite this area, but the next area we go into. But here's the enemies I got the dragon fang from. All I did was charm and attack. Now you can steal a ring of fire from the red drake, and you can steal a ring of ice from the uh, ice drake, the blue drake. So, well. I have it more than enough. I don't need one character to be equipped with that at any time, so... Oh, I forgot to charm him. Oh, well. Not a problem. I already got a Dragon Fang, so it's not necessary. Pico gains a level. Look at that. HP 1, Agility 3. As you know, in the higher levels, your stats don't go up as fast. Those are the only bonuses I'm getting. Is basically from the masters they have. And if you don't know, know what masters I have, I have uh, Big Baby under this, Ray and Pico under Merleep for speed. Okay, we got another Drake here. We're going to charm him. Take him out first. Besides... If he gets a turn, he'll probably cast Fire Breath, and I don't have any equipment equipped to absorb it, although I do have the equipment needed. So, yeah. But I'm wearing Ivory Charms, and as you know, since I've been having my Ivory Charms, I rely heavily on it. So. Basically can't die. Well, I can, but... A slim chance of dying. 
Now Big Baby gains his level. He gets 5 AP, power plus 1, agility plus 3, intelligence plus 3. Very nice. Now Ray is about to level up as well. Alright, what we got here? A horrible monster is asleep on the other side of the glass. Be ashamed to wake it. Wake it up, eh? Let's leave it alone. Uh oh. That card there. Isn't that a key? Doesn't that beat all? You better go get it or. Hmm. I guess we're stuck, aren't we? Let's stop that gas and go in there and get it, eh? Alright, first we need to stop the gas. I think this switch right here does it. If I can get Ryu to line up and click it. Thank you. Terminating sleeping gas. Sleep gas. Well, let's look around here. Oh, yeah, let's check this out. Anything here? Got me another swallow eye. Very nice. Let's go ahead and take these guys out quickly and aggressively as possible. Come on, Pico. Don't miss. Well, hypnotize. You guys know the routine. It's not going to work. Dig off into this first room and grab this ammonia. Guess nothing there. We got this one. We got shock panel settings monitor. Okay. All right. Think we got to scoot it over there. Okay, I look at the top line. All right, and I always make sure those first four blocks are free. Okay. Then we'll go to. Wait a minute, I might be doing this backwards. Hold on, let me see. All right. Let's see, got that there. Let's try that. And then we go to the final one. Critical hit, very nice. And Ray finally gets his level. He get two AP, defense plus one, and agility plus three. Very nice. Love my agility points. Now I should be faster than every monster in the game. Hold on, let me look at my board one more time. Okay, the first board has nothing. The second board. 
Um, that has nothing. Okay, the first four. Look at the top line, please. First board has nothing. Second board has nothing. Now, if you look at the first board, you got um, uh, four minuses and plus. The second board, which I am on now, which is flashing, has nothing on board in the first four slots. Then you have the pluses uh, lined up with the minuses there. That's how I, I line this up. So now we got to go to the final one. What do you have here? Nothing. All right. Now the final one is right here. We want to do the same thing. All right. Now, basically, I'll move this one one spot over just like so. That way, you have four pluses in the first four slots. The next four slots are empty with a minus at the end. And if you look those for the first line, I don't focus on the last line, I focus on the top line. All right, if you look at it, the top line has blanks on the first two panels. First panel, you look at minus with four, four minuses. And the second uh, board, you see it has four pluses, which ma ma matches up with the four minuses. And then if you look at the last slot on that first row, you got the top first board with a plus, second board with nothing, and the last board with a minus. So everything should line up perfectly, and you should get a path through here. Okay, now we got a free path we have to walk. I didn't want to look at that. All right, we're done here. Now, let's make our way through the path we just made. And plus, I'm next battle. I'm gonna change my formation. Fine, breath. That's not gonna hurt too much because you're almost dead. You can die now. Thank you for coming. Great job. All right, let me change this formation up. what I want now put Ryu in the front it's almost boss time all right you come over here you can read it shock experiment area use three monitors to set which panels carry a current danger don't enter area while panels are active now you can do that I mean you don't have to solve the puzzle just walk through it the worst that can happen is you get poisoned, lose a little health, and you can heal yourself up after you walk through the, the panel, so that's really not an issue. The floor is flashing with sparks and looks dangerous. Do you go in? Yes. All right. As you see, I have cleared myself a path, but since I cleared myself a path, let's just walk through. All right. It confused me. I'm confused. Now, I probably confused and poisoned. Not a big deal, right? All I need is this. Now, I could have just walked straight through, like so, and not touched any electric panels. So, you know, it's really complete. Too easy. All right. But like I said, it's not gonna harm you. It's just, well, you know. For game purposes, you may want to do it the right way. Guys, just die.
too easy, fellas. Too easy. Anything in here? Yeah, there's a chest over there. Skillink. Yeah, not much use for that anymore because there's not too many. Oh, I forgot to mention I learned uh, Triple Blow from those machine type enemies. I forgot about that. I forgot to show that, but yeah, Ryu has it. Ray was the one who learned it, and I transferred it over to Big Baby. So he has triple attack now. Oh, yes, and I also need to make another correction. Those adept enemies, those wizards with the books, I said they drop a uh, soul gem. No, their red drop is a shaman's ring, so let me correct it as well. So you can get a shaman ring as a red drop from those adepts, the ones you stole the holy robes from. Now we'll make our way around here. Let's make sure that we're not leaving anything behind here. It looks like we're good. It's in this room. Okay. Let's go back this way. See what's over here. Okay, that's the elevator back up, of course. That hurt a little bit. Stop picking on Pico. Uh, you actually picked on my whole team, but Pico was the one that uh, cried out. Critical payback. Gotta love it. Another chest. We get ivory dice. Very nice. Now we'll make our way back up. All right. Y'all just by guess, it's almost boss time. You got a slicer that's a weapon for Ray, but we're not going to use it. We have his best weapon. Now, we got this giant Chimera here. It's asleep. Maybe the gas is still working. <laughs> Now's our chance. Let's get go get that card. Or maybe not. And yeah, he's awake. Like he's a little angry too. But let's solve that problem for him. First thing we're gonna do is charm him. 
steal from him. And then it's time to use some dragon jeans. We got a firecracker. I'm rich. Paralyzer. Yep, that's not what he actually paralyzed big baby. I actually got paralyzed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed indeed. Never thought that would have happened. Let's see here. What do I want to do? Oh, I know what I want to do. Let's use item. Mm. We're going to use... There we go. We're gonna use the Rafad Sphere for protection. Not that we need it. Raise my defense just a little bit. Without MP cost. Now, it's time to have some fun. Usually I would use force. But this guy has ticked me off. We're gonna use Trance, Infinity, and Radiance. Yeah, we're going to Kaiser form. Ray, your turn. Wear a tiger. And Pico. Well, what do I want you to do? Huh. I know. I know what I want you to do. I know exactly what you want to do. Hit. There you go. Hit yourself with uh, might. And I go Super Saiyan. And y'all wondering why is he transforming Ray into the Were Tiger? Well. I'm going to answer that for you real quick, fast, in a hurry. Hey, back. All right, big baby. Uh, where is it? Influence. Tell Ray what to do. Now. We can start taking this guy down. Now Ray is always gonna take attack the Chimera with no problem. Because he has been influenced. We only need to cast influence once. Because Big Baby is not going to die. And Chimera is the only enemy. So yeah. Now we can go ahead. Use triple blow. Why are you missing, Pico? Okay, I'm gonna have to do something for you. We're gonna stop that from happening. All right, where is it? Ready to defense contact? No. Mind's eye? Yes. Now, let's try not to miss this time, Pico. Go back to Aura and hit this guy. Oh, well, sorry, Pico. You really didn't get a chance to hit him, did you? Well, you did counterattack one time. So, count that as a plus. You did counterattack one time. Let's pick up the key card. It's a cheap looking card that says key card B. Doesn't look very impressive or important at all. 
Doesn't this just beat all? All that work for this? All right, we're not done. Let's go down. This is very important, people. Make sure you come down here. You cannot progress the game unless you come down here first. Trust me, you cannot progress the game until you come down here first. Because we need he shells. Mama can use them to destroy plant life. That is why you need this, okay? So let's go down further. We got that guy out the way. Let's go down this way. Now you need Ray in the lead. So put him in the front. Unlock this door. We grab us a giant shield. That's for Gar. Dragon Ham for Ryu. A big baby. And a dragon shield for big baby. Okay. Would not be using a dragon shield, but I can use the dragon helm. It lowers my attack by five, but and agility. Wow, lose one. Okay, that's not a big deal. Alright. And the dragon shield is as you see is pretty powerful. Protection versus flames. So it's a dragon helm, so you know. Now I got I can absorb fire with no problem. So if I want to, I can go take on some more of those berserkers with a little bit more ease now. Instead of using magma armor, I can use the life armor for better for defense. Matter of fact, let's take advantage of it. Maybe this guy uh, cast fire. We'll take out the blue, the ice drake first. Well, he didn't use fire. How about that? Must have knew I was going to absorb it. Oops, I forgot to charm him. Oh, well. I already got the dragon fang, so. Still would be nice to have another one. Especially to have one recorded, dropping it on screen. Now I just gotta get Momo into party. Oh, they get a turn to go first. How about that? Oh, I forgot Pico has built to kill them quickly because of the dragon to dragon fang. I forgot I got a uh, 1.5 million gil now or zenny more than enough money than I need and plus if I really wanted some more money I can actually sell some items I don't need to go that way I need to go this way more items in the fairy village and get even more gil so I won't be needing this end game now so I really don't need that much money anymore Unit. 
I don't need any vitamins. I got 99 of them. Man, I got a lot of stuff. A lot of grinding I did, didn't it? It's all good, though. Now that you walk past this panel here, it's automatically shut down for you. So you don't have to worry about uh, those electric panels anymore. Now I will say I thank the game for this right here. This room, very nice. It heals all your wounds and you feel completely refreshed. So that means my MP is just restored as well. So I'm back to 100%. But now I need to go get Momo, put her in my party, have her perform a special duty. Then took her back out because like I said, this is my final party as you see here. They go with me everywhere. This guy here is the one I was referring to that um, drops the shaman ring. The adept. I said that he has a soul gem, but I was wrong. He has a shaman's ring. You can steal the holy robe. I said you can steal the holy robe. There you go. And he has a chance of dropping a shaman ring. Thanks for the heal, not that I need it. But you can die now. Now we're gonna come down here, bring Momo into the party. Uh Come on now. Oh yeah, this is the guy where you get get his guard from. And you, if you attack him, make sure you don't attack him twice. And he dies within the uh, first two hits, cause after that his armor cracks, you won't get the armor. So we're gonna switch over to this. Oh, I forgot Shadow Walk actually improves your speed for some reason and make you uh, a couple of levels faster. Forgot about that. And you get a Claymore. I got, how many Claymores do I have? Probably over a hundred. Well, you can't have over a hundred. We can just use Big Baby for this. We have... We have 99 claymores. Yeah. And we actually did over that because it took forever to get that Gideon Guard for some apparent reason. It's supposed to have 1 in 64 chance of dropping. But, as you see, I got 99 claymores and 1 Gideon Garb. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, don't it? Alright, Pico, I'm going to take you out just for a little while. Sorry. Now we need to give her some protection. And, oh yeah, I also need to give her spear ring and a... Where is it? Should have another one here. There we go. I got two more here. Okay. There. Uh, I might as well give her the holy robe too. I was getting stocked up pretty good. All right, your hairpin. Uh, I give you a tiger's hat. Yeah, I give you a tiger hat. All right. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> ah, where's those he shells at? 
There we go. That's what we need. I haven't used her in a while, so it kind of sucks. Now she just don't need to miss. Cause this is an opportunity for me to get three Gideon Garbs. I got three chances to get a Gideon's Garb. Be nice if I was able to get it. We shall see. He died before he got a chance to. Oh well. <coughs> got two claymores. <coughs> Not that the claymore is going to do me any good. I mean, I can only hold 99, so the rest of it was a waste of time. Now we want to come up here. And in this area, we can actually get into a battle with a Goo King. A Goo King has a steel of a green apple. And the uh, big baby's most powerful weapon. Oh, I speak of the devil. And he has the opportunity to drop a Goo King sword, which is Ryu's ultimate weapon. But in order for him to drop it, you must feel first deal. You don't have to. If you can kill him without him fleeing, it's all good. But you have to use charm. Because I think it's 256, one out of 256 chance of him dropping the Goo King sword. So, yes, I have beaten him before. No, I did not get a Goo King sword. I'm still with uh, his second best weapon, which is the Royal Sword. So, we're going to charm. We're going to have to go ahead and steal now. Momo. There's nothing you can do but attack. So Ray better get that green apple. I need Pico because Pico is the best choice for this. Because they all get extra turns. I got the green apple. Does he say? Goo King wants the item back. Now he will attack. Plus I get my extra turn. And let's go for it. It gives a ton of experience, 5,000. And nothing as far as Goo King Sword. Of course, that would be too easy. So I would probably come up here and try to farm that Goo King Sword just for a little while. And Momo is attacked and wounded by a bizarre plant. The plant is blocking the entrance. You can't get in. Well, that's what the heat is coming in at. All you have to do is hit the triangle button. And voila. All good. All right. We're going to take Momo out the party. We're going to end this episode here. Next time we'll pick back up right here with Pico in the party. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like, subscribe, and if you don't mind, leave a comment at, in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this playthrough or any ideas or anything I may have missed or anything you would like me to show. So, thank you guys for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys 
in the next episode.